welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, the last week of August. Mm. Right now, 58 degrees, and the forecast for today, 74 with a 40% chance of showers in the afternoon. Nothing severe expected. Tomorrow, it's only going to be 67. Really? And Labor Day, 90. You know, I've heard on Tuesday, September 5th, it's supposed to be 105. There you go. So we shall see. Our weather is brought to you by Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More. And Tina is on the Blake building with the weather balloon. Tina? Good morning. It's Tina at Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More. Have you had your dryer vent cleaned lately? If not, give us a call. It's part of our preventative maintenance plan. Do you even know how to clean a dryer vent? Uh, no. And it's not just the lint trap. Oh, no, it's it's the vent. Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Have you Everyone ever done it? People should do it. Have you ever had yours done? Probably. <laughs> well, you I either don't. have or you haven't. <laughs> Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Uh, much improved from last Thursday with the stifling heat and the uh, very powerful storms. Last night, Consumers Energy and their last storm update said they're at 95 percent uh, as of this morning there are about 5,000 consumers energy customers statewide without power in jackson county only 242 almost done that's great great job by consumers i'd also like to thank uh, professional tree care for helping me as they help me through every storm it feels like uh, they've been they've been our first call so highly recommend professional tree care uh, to take care of that debris. And as I've been driving around, I've seen a lot of debris. The city's done a nice job clearing the roads and mm -hmm. things like that. It's amazing some of the size of these trees that went down. Yeah. Uh, Wayne and Monroe were uh, declared disaster areas oh. eligible for state assistance by Governor Whitmer. And yesterday, she expanded the declaration to include uh, portions of Livingston, Washtenaw, and Ingham County, not Jackson. Uh, for some reason, but uh, local authorities asked the governor for that declaration so they could get state aid. I haven't seen Governor Whitmer in like a year. I don't know where she's been. Yeah, I don't know either. Mm -hmm. uh, sad news for you, your, one of your idols, Bob Barker, mm -hmm. passed away at uh, the age of 99. 57 years performing in show business. Are you kidding me? Uh, he was, uh, in my opinion, um, the greatest uh, audience participation or game host ever mm -hmm. and he is the last he was the last of my three idols to pass away walter cronkite johnny carson and bob barker and he was just yeah. uh i can't i can't even watch the new prices right i was when i heard he passed away i was Devastated. it was like i lost a member of the family well yeah i mean think of how many hours you spent uh with bob mm -hmm. in front of the uh tv amazing yeah, I, you know, I think Drew Carey's improved a lot, but yeah. he's, he's no Bob Barker. Well, I mean, I don't think he could ever replace Bob Barker. No. So, he, very uh, sad news. Iconic show, right? I mean, just... Yes, I'm concerned because CBS moved the show out of Television City over the summer into a, a warehouse in Glendale that apparently can only fit about half the audience Really? Of, of previous, uh, yeah. You know, your niece was in the audience on that once. Mm -hmm. The yeah. price was right. I know. That's yeah. one of, I always wanted to have been in the audience, Me too. but I, I never wanted to. Me too. When I was left home alone uh, in the summers as a kid, I used to uh, look forward to the price is right. Mm -hmm. That was my big, big highlight of my day. And then I'd have grilled cheese. <laughs> uh, the age. 99. Amazing. Long life. Uh, the Hispanic Heritage Festival is coming up. It is September 16th, downtown Jackson at Horace Blackman Park. So save the date. Should Jacob be, Innocencio uh, and team putting on uh, the event. It was no. excellent last year. Should it was be awesome last another, year. another wonderful event. So uh, Saturday the 16th, downtown Jackson. Uh, hurricane warning for uh, parts of Florida, and this mm -hmm. storm is, you know, coming out of nowhere. It was a tropical storm. It's expected to be Category yeah. 3 by landfall tomorrow morning. Ida Idalia? Is that the name of it? <sighs> yes, uh, Idalia. Tropical oh. storm Idalia. Expected to become Hurricane Idalia. And they are saying 
It could be very devastating. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of on a path toward that uh, Fort Myers area again, which would be just absolutely devastating. It's going to be a big newsy hurricane season this year. Mm -hmm. um, so expect a lot of hurricane coverage. Yeah. And I'm worried about the storms, right? I mean, think of the ones we've had around here in the last 12 months mm -hmm. between the winter and summer storms. Uh, what's going to happen with that uh, warm ocean water? We shall find out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully nothing too devastating happens for sure. Mm -hmm fear of the weather. Yeah. Back to school at the University of Michigan and students yesterday. Oh no, no internet. Mm. All three U of M campuses, the internet was shut down due to security concerns. So uh, nobody could do anything. Well, that's a bummer. No internet. The pickleball complex. It's amazing. Yeah, it was, uh, it's now open. You were there yesterday. Uh, wonderful photo gallery on our website. The Hearst Foundation Pickleball Complex. And uh, pickleball is the real deal in town, isn't it? It is. And in fact, uh, members of the Jackson uh, Area Pickleball Association, the members donated $90,000 towards awesome. this complex. Uh, the DNR, um, American One Credit Union, the Hearst Foundation, mm -hmm. uh, over 280 uh, individual contributors as well. There's John Butterfield displaying excellent form. It, you know, your son Joe and John have been playing pickleball together for years. Yeah. And I think they have a strong rivalry. Oh, really? I believe oh, so. Wow. Kyle Lewis, the director of Jackson County Parks, presiding over the ceremonies. John had a hole in one yesterday. No. After this. No. Yeah. What a day. I know. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> Oh look, Al Hooper and uh, Mike Way. Now Al's Al's a decorated uh, pickleball player, yes, isn't pickleballer. he? Pickleballer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had uh, this is gorgeous. I mean, it's just like going traveling up and down the East Coast, seeing some of these high-end facilities. So very lucky to have it right here in Jackson. Right here in Jackson. Yeah, it's cool. Awesome. We'll have a uh, video, of course, later on our website, jtv.tv. Uh, the JTV team played in the JAMA golf outing yesterday. Oh. I heard it wasn't very good. Uh, <laughs> the outing or their team? Well, the team. Uh, the outing was wonderful. The mm -hmm. team. What I, a day. The note was uh, one of our employees might not be coming back into work today because of how bad he played yesterday. Barker? No. <laughs> Who? That's what I thought. <laughs> Joe Barry. Joe Barry? Really? Yeah, he said he had a tough day out there. Huh. Uh, David Barker was actually pretty strong. Um, I did get a note that he only had nine clubs in his bag, but he's, he played really well. That's all you need. Played really well, so. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks to JAMA, uh, they always put on a wonderful golf outing at the Country Club. We had a great time. Mm -hmm. uh, first week of school at Jackson College, all week long yeah. they have welcome week activities. Yesterday it was Jet Jam, where there were all kinds of uh, resources, community partners, yep. um, they also had a uh, dinner at night. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, Interface Shelter was there, Sheriff's mm -hmm. Department, JADA, it was great. Campus is just kind of buzzing now, right? It feels like everything's come together. It's uh, amazing how, it, how much energy it felt yeah, uh, that's yesterday. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. Great time to be a JAT. Now, I, got, I didn't get there when the pizza was there. This was, is this the dinner? That's the dinner. I missed the pizza, too. I missed the pizza. Yeah. Shoot, but I had a hot dog at the Jet Jam earlier, so. You know, when I was at the Jet Jam, I smelled burgers cooking, but I could not find them. Yeah, I was talking to Steve Castle from the Interface Shelter, and he told me it was hot dogs, mm. so. But yeah, wonderful event. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to get out to campus, get out to campus, for sure. Uh, for full coverage on uh, all things JC, visit gtv.tv. Have you fo been following the uh, indictments? You know, that whole thing? Yes. You know what I was thinking? So there's 18 <laughs> names, right? Yeah. How would you like to be one of those names at the bottom and you were just hanging around for all of it and now all of a sudden your life's, your life's turned upside yeah. down? Um, if you look closely at that list, there's people like that, I'm sure. So mm -hmm. what do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, I guess I don't know either. Um, Crimson Oak, our friend Jason, is having a fall open house, and that is going to be on September 9th from 10 
1901 Horton Road. Check out uh, all the great furniture and gifts inside Crimson Oak. Saturday, September 9th. Fun. The greedy entertainment industry is uh, prolonging the strike and it's strike season. UAW might go on strike. But uh, no new films, no new TV shows. Hmm. And this year, for the first time ever, there may be no G-rated movies released. What? No G movies this year. Really? Because yes. all the writers? Yeah. Wow. So i uh, got a little trivia test for you. I'll give you the movie. You tell me what it was rated. Oh, I like this. In 2003, there were 30 G-rated movies. Uh, Gone with the Wind, 1939. PG-13. G. What? Jaws, 1975. PG. PG is correct. Twilight, 2008. PG-13. Correct. When Harry Met Sally, 1989. PG-13. No. PG? Don't you remember the... Tom Hanks? Yeah. R. R? R. Oh, there must have been an mm. adult scene. The, the restaurant. I, I don't remember. Oh. It was 1989 when uh, I was six or seven years old watching that. The movie. Matrix, 1999. Ooh, that's uh, PG-13. Mm, R. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, 1971. PG. G. Really? Yeah. And I can hear them guessing up there. <laughs> it's like the Price is Right. They're screwing me up. Finally, uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. PG-13. Exactly. Well done. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Does anyone who, look at ra ratings anymore? I, I on don't that? know. Who knows? We used to, Brandon, do you remember the, the rating NC-17? I do. Oh, yeah. that was a ticket if we could get into that show, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, the guy at the Plaza Cinema 123, remember that? He would stand there and he would check your ID as he tore your ticket. Yes. Yeah. What was the rating at the uh, video store when you can rent some movies? Oh, the video store. Oh, the curtain room? Behind the curtain. Behind the curtain? Well, the behind the... Uh, they weren't R, so they were like... Swinging unrated. Doors. Unrated. Unrated. <laughs> oh, they were unrated. So that's actually worse. They were so bad and disgusting that they couldn't even be rated by the film You don't want to go back in that room. Those were... What do they call those doors? Swinging Saloon doors. doors. Saloon doors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get like... Sometimes they had the WrestleMania back there too, but uh, yeah. I remember I was at that video store one time. My mom was looking for me, and we were in the You're back in the room, room fooling yeah. around there. Yeah. Dave DeBaker worked there. Yeah, he, <laughs> he did. He did. He got mad. Yeah. He said, get your children out of that room. Dave DeBaker's first job. Uh, the police blotter this morning. I'm surprised it hasn't made more news, uh, this particular item. Officer Morris was sent to the area where the railroad crosses Stewart Avenue for a train versus pedestrian crash. What? Uh, the 46-year-old male pedestrian was taken to the hospital for medical treatment. I hope he's okay. Yeah, I hope so, too. That's typically, awful. when you get hit by a train, it's over. Well, typically, yeah. Uh, hopefully, that person's okay. Maybe, br maybe it's just he got brushed. And then the next day... Um, I don't know. They, uh, there was a, someone on the train tracks they had to go remove. Really? Yeah. So... Don't hmm. do that. I remember putting a penny on the train tracks with my Aunt Kristen up in Dexter once, and that's the last time I got close to a train track. You shouldn't do that. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. um, guess what? I'm now a volleyball parent. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll have further updates uh, as, as that season uh, progresses. Uh, I want to tell you about an air show coming up, an air aviation day, excuse me, military aviation uh, display. It's happening at the Jackson County Airport. On Saturday, September 9th from 10 to 3, it is free, sponsored by JTV, Bailey Family Foundation, M&K, Jetting, Televising Trips, Hearst Foundation and Advanced Turning, Club B, and Jimmy's Towing and Auto Repair. You what are volleyball parents like? I don't know yet. Uh, I assume they're difficult. What's the snack situation of volleyball? I don't know anything about it yet, so we will find out. I assume there will be no concessions. And mm. I don't know, though. We shall see. I'm very excited about it, though. I like watching sports that I don't, you know, because I can oh, it's, it's a very exciting sport to watch. Yeah. Uh, speaking of aviation, the uh, FAA yesterday fined American Airlines for leaving uh, passengers on the tarmac. Has this ever happened to you? One time in Vegas. Yeah, it's happened to me a couple times. 
So um, American Airlines was fined $4.1 million. They broke uh. the rule. They kept the passengers on idle planes for more than three hours without the chance to deplane. Now, where's this money going? To the FAA. It should go. <laughs> Where should it go? They if the FAA ever should. is in trouble financially, they no. just fine. They just they get these. And this is the thing about the, the government. They fine people for wrongdoing that usually costs other people money. But those people that it costs, they don't get the money. If and this should be a law. If the government fines uh, a company or someone for wrongdoing, the wronged should get the money. I agree with you. Yeah. So uh, American Airlines, uh, the FAA should give all that money to yeah, the people. Yeah, take out stuck. a little administrative fee, five hundred thousand. Yeah. And yeah. then write checks to all the uh, passengers Clearly. that were were stranded. It's the right thing to do. I think it is too. Mm -hmm. You should send an email to the FAA. <laughs> Info at FAA. I'm sure they'll get right back to you. Our show today is brought to you by Vermeulen's Home Furnishings. They're in their third generation of being family owned and operated. Thank you to Vermeulen's. High school sports, back in full swing. Do we have a scoreboard? Back in full swing. I do our Extreme Dodge scoreboard brought to you by Extreme Dodge. And you know that exit is open, brand new building. It's really nice. It's beautiful. It, it looks like they, uh, the only thing it's missing is the swimming pool. I'll have Seymour. The whole road looks yeah, everything nice. Looks everything great. on it. It's beautiful. Boys soccer. Columbia Central 7. Jonesville 0. Grass Lake 4. Michigan Center 0. Jackson 5. Pinckney 0. Northwest 9. Stockbridge 1. Western beat Lansing Catholic 4-1. to one. And Jackson Christian and Calhoun Christian tied at 2. Girls golf. Jackson shot 267. Finished 3rd at the Tecumseh Tri Meet. Here is what's coming up on deck for today, August 29th. We've got volleyball, we've got a little bit of cross country, Springport at Turkeyville. Gosh, I, <laughs> I, I have such awful memories of Turkeyville, <laughs> dragging us up there on a Sunday at three o'clock when we just want to watch NFL football. I didn't even like the turkey at Turkeyville that much. Oh, wow. Well, it's lovely. I didn't know Turkeyville was a school. Gabriel Richard at Lumen Christie Boys Soccer. Uh, golf, East Jackson is, uh, East Jackson Invitational is uh, going on right now at Sharp Park. Boys Tennis, Marshall Home, and uh, Lansing Catholic Home, which means our locals are on the road. DeWitt at Jackson Swimming, and then uh, Today's college events, Jackson College, women's soccer on the road at Schoolcraft, 1 p.m. And the men's team also on the road at Schoolcraft at 3. Turkeyville is not a school, it's a place. And not only did you not like going to Turkeyville, but the Cornwells, the family, I don't think they wanted to be there. It's like they dressed up their nine kids in these uh, Quaker uh, costumes and they just did not want to be there. Uh, slaughtering turkeys and serving. It people. literally is giving me anxiety and depression <laughs> right now. Talking about who's on the show today? Talking about Turkeyville. Oh my gosh! We're gonna get things turned around really quick, quickly here with uh, Aaron Demick from the city of Jackson. Right after this.